Okay guys, welcome back. In this lesson, we will learn how to scale, copy, and paste. Now remember, uh, in I believe my second video, my second lesson, I introduced to you this top toolbar. Now this is where we could be, you, where, where we'll be using some of these features, such as copy, paste, duplicate. Right? Okay, so right now we have a blank work plan. So it's all good for us, and we'll, let's get our creative minds to work. Add shapes to the work plane. This lesson walks through the steps to scale shapes on the work plane. Begin by finding the orange cylinder in the basic shapes list. Remember, this is a basic shapes gallery. Remember, I introduced you, this to you in my second lesson. Let's go on ahead and find a cylinder. So it's right here. Right, this is the cylinder. You drag it out, it superimposes where it would land if you release your cursor, place it right there, release, and now you have a cylinder on the work plane. Continue to the next step. Let's try that one more time. Go ahead and add another cylinder to the work plane. Right now, we're not going to be using any of your cop, uh, any of the copy and paste or duplicates. Let's just go on ahead and just drag out another cylinder from your basic shapes gallery. Okay, everybody got it? Let's go on ahead. Now here's the fun part. You're going to scale the orange cylinder you just dragged on the work plane to height of 15 millimeters. Now this is the cylinder that I just dragged, right? So how to scale something uh, to a height of 15 millimeters? Now once you hover over this top little white square, it turns red. And it shows you the height of the cylinder from its base to its top. So right now, it's showing 20 millimeters, right? 20.00 millimeters. So we need to scale this down to 15 millimeters. So if you drag, left mouse drag, left mouse click, drag, move down, keep on moving until you found 15. This is 15, right? Continue to the next step. Let's add one more cylinder. Let's This time, let's copy one of the cylinders that's already on the work plan. Okay, so this is where we're going to be using some of these uh, up, uh, some of these um, toolbars, toolbar features. So let's go on ahead and use copy and paste. So let's go on ahead and just select the first shape that we dragged over and do Control C on your keyboard, keyboard shortcut, Command C on Max. Or Command C on Max, right? And then Control C. Now it's copied to your clipboard, and you do Control V. So you see it's right next to it, right? Let's go on ahead and move it over. Left mouse click, drag to the proper position. Now, of now you could also do this another way. I'm using Control Z to undo my things. So click on it, and then if you and then and then. Go up here, select copy, select paste. The exact same result is produced. Go ahead and drag it. Continue next step. The last cylinder needs to be 10 millimeters tall. Now, let's do it. 20 millimeters high, scale it down. 10. Perfect. All right. You're awesome. Good job. Now, let's continue to our next lesson. 